In this video, I'll show you how to create this part in Autodesk Inventor 2019. First, before we start, we should take a look at our multi-view, which shows us all the dimensions of the object. Here we have our front view with most of our dimensions. You'll see it's a total of three inches tall with steps uh, each being one inch tall. It's also three inches wide with steps each being uh, one inch wider than the one before it. We have our top view up here where you see the tops of the steps. We'd have our side view here where you sort of see these side bits of the steps, but where we also see our overall thickness for the part, which is three inches from this front, this sort of staircase shape here on the front uh, to the back is three inches. Okay, with that information, we're going to break this up into three uh, very small chunks in order to create this part as a beginner part. We get into Inventor, close this, and we'll get to a new part file. So you'll create, you'll click on New Part. We'll give that a couple seconds to load up. And just like every uh, part we create, we start with a two dimensional sketch. We start with our 2D geometry. And then later on, once our sketch is finished, we create the 3D feature, right? And we're going to use a number of those steps together to build up to our staircase shape. So we'll create a 2D sketch and then a feature and then another sketch and another feature. Uh, that's how we'll build this up. So everyone should be here. We're going to click on Start 2D Sketch. We'll click the top half of the button because we don't have to go into the options. We have our possible work plane set up. And here on this part, I want to draw from the front view. We're going to build up these steps as a sort of from the side and then extrude them back. So with this, we're going to choose the uh, XY plane because that would be the work plane that corresponds with our front view. I'm going to click on XY plane. You'll see my X axis, my Y axis, and the origin at the center. And for the first uh, sketch, we're going to draw this bottom step. So I know that the bottom step is three inches wide here. And each of the steps is one inch tall. So I know it's going to be three inches by one inch here on this first rectangle. To create this, I'll use the rectangle tool. So click rectangle. I'm going to bring my cursor over to the origin. You should see that as I get close to the origin, the cursor changes to a green circle as it snaps to that point. So once you have the green circle at the origin, I'm going to click once with the mouse and start moving our mouse up and to the right a bit. You should see I have dimensions following my lines here. I've got a width dimension. Right now that is highlighted. That's the dimension on the top. I have a height dimension. Those are changing as I move the mouse. I already know based on my multi-view that it's three inches wide by one inch tall. So here on the width dimension, it's already highlighted. I'm just going to press three on the keyboard. And that changes to three inches for the width dimension. I'm going to press tab on the keyboard to switch to my height dimension. You'll see my rectangle already got wider at this point. Since my height dimension is highlighted, I'm going to press one on the keyboard and enter to accept the dimensions. So I could press this zoom all button, the page with the magnifying glass to see the whole thing, or I could use my scroll wheel on the mouse, scrolling up and down to zoom, pressing that scroll wheel in like a button to pan and set this up to where I'd like it to be. I see I've got my three inch by one inch rectangle, and that's all I want for the first sketch. We'll leave it right there, and we're going to come up to the top right and click Finish Sketch. So you should see the view change. We're now at the home view. We're kind of zoomed in a little bit too much. Again, you could hit the zoom all, the page with the magnifying glass. That might help. Or you could scroll with your mouse. And at this point, we're going to uh, make our first 3D feature. We're going to use the extrude tool. And again, checking on our 
multi view we know that from the front to the back here right this is our right side view and from the front to the back of the part the depth is three inches so we need to extrude this then three inches click extrude we'll see it previews the extrusion and it seems pretty short here and that's because it's only extruding to one inch uh, we need that to be three right so i'm going to highlight that press three on the keyboard preview looks good so we'll hit ok and here we have our bottom step right bottom step of our staircase shape Okay, next step, we know that our middle step is uh, one inch in, right, from the, from the bottom. So that's going to be three inches minus one. So we're going to have a two inch long by one inch tall step to draw next. To do that, we need a new sketch. So please click Start 2D Sketch. And this time, uh, we want to draw right on this front face. So I'm going to click on the front face of the bottom step. The whole thing should rotate around so we can see it straight on. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and move this down. And for our second step, we just need a second rectangle, right? So click on the rectangle tool. Again, we're going to come over and hover over an important point, but instead of the origin, our important point now is at the top corner of this step because we want to add right on top. If you don't see it snap to the green dot, then hover over these two lines, the top horizontal line and this sort of side vertical line, hover over them quick, and then move to that corner, and it should snap with a green dot. We're gonna click right there on that corner. Start moving up and to the right a bit. And again, my dimensions are highlighted. I know that this needs to be two inches wide by one inch tall. So on my width dimension, which is already highlighted, I'm going to press two on the keyboard. I'll press tab to switch to the height. And I'll press one on the keyboard to enter in that two inches by one inch dimension and enter to accept the dimensions. With that, our second rectangle is done. We're ready to create the second step, right? That middle step for part one. I'm going to finish the sketch. Again, I'm going to extrude, so click extrude. And this time, it still wants to extrude three inches, but notice it's extruding it away from that first step. And we, we want it to be on top of the, the bottom step, not like sort of hanging out in space off to the side of it. So in order to change this, we're gonna come over to our options and right underneath where it says three, you'll see right now direction one is highlighted. We're gonna click on direction two. That's going to make sure it extrudes uh, sort of behind the sketch instead of in front of the sketch and onto that first step. With that, hit OK. And our second step is done. Okay, last thing we have to do on our staircase shape is this top step. We know from our drawing that it's one inch tall and one inch wide. So in Inventor, Going to click Start 2D Sketch to make our last sketch for this part. Again, we'll click on the front face of the staircase. Again, we're going to choose the Rectangle tool. We're going to hover over these couple of lines so that we can snap to this top left corner. We have the green dot. We're going to click right on that green dot. Move up and to the right a bit. And again, we're going to enter in our dimensions with the keyboard. So I'm going to press 1 for 1 inch wide. I'm going to hit Tab on the keyboard. And 1 again for 1 inch tall. And press Enter. That's all we need for this third and final sketch. So click Finish Sketch. And of course, to make this 3D, we're going to use Extrude. 
Again, we're extruding three inches, that's correct. But again, this is trying to extrude out into space instead of backwards onto the rest of the extrusions. So click Direction 2 to put it in the right spot. If it looks good, hit OK. And there you should have your finished part one, your finished staircase shape. So to get this in the correct view to turn in, we're going to hover over our little view cube here in the corner, click on the house, that gets it to the home view. And before you save and turn in, you might want to come up to our pull down here and choose a nice color or texture to apply to our part. Also, maybe you want to choose the free orbit tool just for kicks and sort of check it out. Bring it around. See what it looks like. Okay, but when you're done, please make sure that we get back to that home view. So we'll click on the house up by the view cube. It sets it up nicely to that home view. We're going to save with a file. Save. And maybe you want to call that something like part one, right? Because that's what we're calling it class. Also, to turn it in, I'm asking that you turn in a snipping tool screenshot. So we're going to go up to snipping tool. We're going to click from a corner and drag to an opposite corner to grab a picture. We're going to save that picture and turn in the picture on Classroom for credit. All right, good work. Turn it in and on to the next one.